Hi everyone, uh, so today I wanted to give you um, just a quick look at what I have inside of my large jar pouch. Um, so I got this one from the Hobonichi website and it's the Mr. Saturn cover and it's really cute. I really like it a lot. And this is the other side. This is the back side to it. And you can see it says Mother, Mother 2. And there's the logo on that side. And there's a back pocket on here too. And there's a really cute handle. And so yeah. So inside, I have mostly Hobonichi items in here. Um, I don't have too many non-Hobonichi items in here. And I did that kind of on purpose so that I use this mostly as my supply pouch for all my Hobonichi stuff. Um, so going from all the pockets, uh, the little pockets I have some Kita tape, um, washi tape that I keep in these um, side pockets. I have another thing here of Kita tape. And in this pocket, I have the, um, the Film Fusion uh, from the 2019 lineup. And then in this one, I keep um, just some of those PETA, I think they're called PETA um, sticky notes. And um, they're the ones that have the, let's see if I can peel one off the very, it's got like little dots on it and stuff like that, but yeah, it's really nice. I like the colors on them. So I keep that in the pocket. And then in this pocket, I have all the stencils. So here's the four Hobonichi stencils, the smaller ones. And then in this pocket, I keep these um, sticky notes, the Maru Fusion. And in this pocket, I have the double-sided double side or double stick tape also from Hobonichi so there's that you can see that I go through these I go I go through these quite a bit and then um, in this front part I have um, let's see and I have one of these the, this is from the 2019 lineup this um, envelope or this um, folder and then I have a couple of pencil boards in there the A6 size I keep that in there and then I keep um, and I don't know why because I just kind of like looking at them but I like the old the brochures from previous years um, this was the welcome book from 2018 is it 2018 yeah so I like to look through that and keep it and then I keep one of the 2019 ones um, also in here because I like to look at it once in a while uh, this was a recent um, for my 2019 first haul I forgot to put this in my video that I hauled this, but this is the Little Letter um, pair set. And they're just like little mini notes, and I really like them. They're perfect for journaling, because uh, a lot of times I like to journal things on separate little pieces of paper and then insert it into my Hobonichi, into my Techo, um, as a secondary type of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a strange thing, I guess, but sometimes I don't journal directly on the pages of my Hobonichi. I actually will journal on a separate piece of paper, especially if I want to keep it private, because a lot of times I do, um, I like, my mom likes to look through my, not look through it, but like I'll show her. She's fascinated by how I do the Hobonichi and decorate it and how I use washi tape and stickers. And so um, when I'm showing her a flip through of my Hobonichi, there's some private, you know, journaling things that I've done where I don't really necessarily want them to be seen by anyone else. So I usually will journal on separate pieces of smaller paper, kind of like these, for example, and then I'll like fold them in like thirds and make it so that they, you know, and I'll use like a piece of washi tape to keep it closed. And, or sometimes I'll put, I'll, um, I'll tuck them into like m little miniature envelopes. So like envelopes like this. Um, and then I'll glue the envelope into my Hobonichi and then just put my, my private journaling piece of paper in here and then close it with a piece of washi to keep it closed. And that way when I'm doing a flip through to like a friend or family member, they don't see my journal entry, you know, and nothing is awkward. <laughs> Um, 
And then in this zipper, the center zipper part, I have, these are from the 2019 lineup. These are those um, yellow, sorry, I say um all the time. I'm trying to break that habit. These are the yellow clear pockets. I know they have a name and I forgot what they were, so I apologize for that. And then I have some washi sample cards in here. These are from various Etsy sellers that I bought washi samples off of and they just came on these like clear cards. So I keep those in the center pouch and here's another um, like washi, washi sample. So I keep that in the center as well. I know a lot of people will put pens and pencils in the center pouch, but I actually, um, when I bought this one, I actually also at the same time purchased the small pencil pouch that matches this one. And so this one kind of has the same, uh, you know, the, the image, oh, you probably won't be able to see it on my camera, but the, there's an image on, inside this pocket. And then on this side, it has the same Mr. Saturn uh, logo in the front. And then this is actually what I keep all of my, well, makes sense because it's a pencil pouch, but this is actually what I keep all of my writing, most of my writing supplies in. I have my Caveco fountain pen, um, my multi-colored pencil, pencil um, in here. I have a Winichi pen. Here's my Gudetama pen that I love. Here's um, my stick scissors. So I just have some stick scissors, I've, although I do have some better crafting scissors than this one. And then one of my favorite gel pens is this um, carrot pen that I got as a freebie from an Etsy seller. And oh my gosh, I love this pen. It writes unbelievably so awesome. Love that carrot pen. And then here's a little image of Mr. Saturn in the pocket, which is one reason why I don't put anything in this front part because I just like the image and I don't really want to stretch that out. Um, but then, oh, didn't realize that was unzipped already. Um, but in here, I keep all, most of my go-to pens. This is a, actually, this is a crafting knife. So it's got a little, little blade there on the end. I actually put a piece of duct tape um, around here so that I would always remember that this is a knife and not a pen. So, yeah, because I would totally cut myself for getting that. I have a Sharpie in here, some brush pens, um, yeah, just just various writing writing tools that I keep in here. Uh, there's another brush pen back there, and this is a uh, a Rouchon Petit, Rouchon Petit, and this is one of those jelly pens. I think they're called a um, Sakura. I think they're called a Sakura jelly pen. Oh, sorry, that's out of focus but anyway and then this one is I think I got this one from Tokyo Pen Shop and it's just a dual tip uh, sharpie um, but anyway I, I keep all my pens and pencils that I my usual go-to's I keep in this um, pencil pouch and that's why I don't keep it in here because this is mostly all just my stationary stuff so that's what I use the center one is just for washi tape and stuff like that so sorry kind of went off the went off the topic a little bit and then on the other side oh I didn't finish this pocket did I so in this pocket I have this folder um, and I have a bunch of just I got these from an Etsy seller I believe and they're just various um, stationary stickers that I really like and they're really big so I can't fit them into my normal sticker books so I have to put them in this like giant A5 um, folder. Um, so I have some other um, stickers. Here's another sheet of stickers that I got. Oh, here's Martha's Calligraphy Stickers. So I think I believe that's where I got them from. And so, yeah, so I, I have to keep them in this A5 folder just because they're, they're very big stickers. Um, but I have that in this back pocket here. So that's all I had in there. And then this I already went over with you. And then here, so here in this area on the other side of the zipper, I have, um, this is a Totoro pouch. And in here I keep a bunch of, oh boy, these are all a bunch of Hobonichi stickers that I actually um, printed out 
and some of these are like stickers this one at, for instance is actually just cut out of paper but some of these like here's a collection of different stickers Hobonichi stickers that I printed out from the website and I just made them into stickers um, this one um, so yeah I just have a bunch of variant various ones it's really such so cute love these and then let's see, here's some Dokonoko ones all of these I actually just took right off of the website the Hobonichi website and then some of them I made um, I used sticky sticky paper to print them off on or I just cut them directly like from a word document that I printed off the printer and then we'll use them later for um, sticky paper so here's like a little Poe image I think this is I don't think I made that actually into a sticker but I just got all of these are from the Hobonichi website that I just kind of found and this is one of my favorites it's all right I just love the look on her face with her eyebrows like she's just so excited and everything about making her Hobonichi hers um, and then here's some I like whatever I could find to make stickers out of here's a bunch of covers <laughs> oh yeah um, and then this is one of my favorites too I think this is actually printed on sticker paper so anyway I've made this my um, my Hobonichi sticker uh, sticker pouch which is this one right here it's kind of nice got mesh on one side then I have these folders these might look familiar to you these are folder sets from um, 2018 and I just keep some dot stickers in here that are also from Hobonichi everything this folder is from sweet supply store I like it because it has um, these different compartments it has like uh, what is it one one two and then it's got a third one back here but all the stickers that are in here are all Hobonichi so here are I'm just gonna do kind of a flip to show you what I have in here for Hobonichi stickers um, I have quite a bit of duplicates and triplicates because some of them are just my favorite um, but these are just an example I have all the frame stickers are back here um, yeah so I think that was the end of that one so yeah and that's what's in the other side of this zipper and then back here I keep the um, this is a stencil that I got from the 2019 haul and I really like this stencil and it's very thick um, it's like a, a hard plastic and I actually like keeping it on in the back pocket because it actually has some hardness it keeps like some stability in the towards the back um, <clears throat> excuse me and again I don't keep anything in this pocket because I don't really want my large drawer pouch to kind of lose its shape I kind of like the flatness of it um, and so um, but anyway so that's all that I have in here in my large drawer pouch and then I already showed you what I have in my small drawer pouch and then just to show you that I do have a complete set because one of my last purchases was getting finally getting the A6 Mr. Saturn um, cover because when I heard that they were only going to be putting um, certain 2018 covers into the 2019 store and they said that if you if there's a 2018 cover you like and you don't see that it's going to go over to the 2019 store you should buy it now because it's likely not to um, make it so of course I panicked and this was kind of like a, a rush order and um, but I'm glad that I got it because I like having the matching set of the large jar pouch the pencil pouch and now the a6 cover I just like that it's all a matching set and what I keep in here I don't actually keep it um, this is just Hobonichi papers that I keep in here um, instead of a, an, a, um, an actual Techo um, but uh, yeah anyway so I just wanted to show you what I keep in my large um, and small drawer pouches and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye